All right, so uh, I owe you guys an apology. I, I messed up. I dropped the ball. I don't know what I was thinking. Typical Fanny, right? Uh, a couple days ago, I put out a video going over my experience at the Pokemon World Championships in Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, so in August, I was able to attend my first ever Pokemon World Championships. I've never been to a Pokemon Worlds before. I had an absolute blast. And if you haven't watched the video already, please go back and just give it a watch. Uh, I, it, hopefully, it paints a picture of what to expect going into a Pokemon World Championships. It's so much fun. Whether you're invested in... The competitive play, uh, mentally, or just the TCG in general, or just the anime, or the video game, or Pokemon Go, or Pokemon Unite, whatever area, whatever branch of Pokemon you love, uh, you fit there. Like, everything, it's just so great meeting like-minded people and having just fun celebrating this wonderful hobby uh, that we enjoy. But I, I apologize, because I meant to do a giveaway during that video, and I just completely forgot about it. Uh, and I want to give this away. Uh, so if you don't know what this is, this is an exclusive Pikachu ukulele um, from the Honolulu World Championships. So inside this, I bought this at the World Championships, and I bought it specifically to give away. Uh, I wanted to record a short, and I was able to do that. Shout out to Sh Sunny for uh, playing the, the theme song for Pokemon on the ukulele. Unfortunately, this one is more of a novelty item and didn't do great uh, as far as the tuning goes, but uh, I wanted to give this to one of you guys. I know that these were scalped to high heaven, uh, and I really wanted to give this to one lucky subscriber. So, uh, unfortunately, I forgot. I forgot to do it, so we're going to do it in this video instead. So, uh, if you want to win this exclusive... Uh, Pokemon ukulele from the 2024 Pokemon World Championships uh, All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel and then leave a comment and a like on this video So this will be the giveaway video for it uh, Leave a like and a comment down below uh, and then just make sure you're subscribed to the channel We're gonna announce the winner of this giveaway next Friday. So come back next Friday You should come back like every video in between uh, but come back next Friday at the beginning of the video We will announce the winner of this uh, this Pokemon ukulele. So I know these have been very difficult to like get at a reasonable price. So uh, I wanted to give it away uh, to one lucky subscriber. So uh, with that being said, I wanted to talk today about the Paldea Evolved reprint. We keep calling it a reprint. I don't think it's a reprint and I'm going to explain why, but we're going to go over a booster box and we're going to look at pull rates to see if things change. Now we know that Pokemon has changed pull rates after the release of Obsidian Flames. After Obsidian Flames came out and it became statistically more difficult to pull a regular Art Glamora than it did to pull a special illustration rare Charizard, Pokemon was like, okay, we got to change things. So then with Paradox Rift, they started changing things a little bit, and then Temporal Forces, they ch changed things a lot a bit. Uh, so we did get reprint, or we got restock of Paldea Evolve booster boxes in stock finally. Those arrived yesterday, uh, and I kind of wanted to showcase some so, some things. So this is an, an old case. This is just an empty case right now. Uh, you can see, though, uh, the darkness of the label. So it does look fairly fresh, but this is SVO2. It's got everything on it, not for retail sale. Before June 9th, 2023 so this is just an empty case unfortunately there is no identifier on the box sometimes they will put an actual date on the actual box of when the box was printed which gives us a good understanding of items like reprints and things like that this is a brand new case so this is one of the reprint cases uh and the label as you can tell is noticeably faded compared to that other one so that old one the one that we just looked at that's from the first print run of pal day evolved uh that we stored this one looks like it was stored uh differently. It looks like it was stored differently. Unfortunately, there is no unique identifier that would label this as a, a second reprint or a wave or whatever the case may be. I think this is just old stock. It still has the same thing down here uh, as far as not, not available for a retail sale before June 9th, 2023, but it wouldn't change that. They wouldn't change that. I looked around on the bottom to see if any of these numbers would be unique identifiers. They're not, unfortunately. Even with like Obsidian Flames cases that just came out, it's the same numbers. It's the same numbers for everything. So there's nothing really that to kind of gives us an idea of whether or not they would have actually reprinted the product inside uh, outside of like the age of the label and to me the age of this label looks as old, if not older, uh, than the original one that we looked at. This was stored differently, I'm assuming, than what this one was stored. I think this is just back stock. But we're going to look at an actual case here, or uh, we're going to look at one booster box. We're just going to open up one booster box, and we're going to see uh, what pull rates look like. Now, pull rates for Pell Day Evolved were top shelf. They were absolutely slapping. They were very, very good. Um, and then, obviously, Obsidian Flames was the same, and then they made a change. So I'm going to flip you guys around so you can see exactly what we're talking about. But we've got everything written down on this lovely energy card right here. Uh, so these are pull rates on what we should expect to see out of this booster box right here. So we should get 12.27 hits. So somewhere between 12 and 13 hits, of which about five should be double rares, which are just regular art, obviously regular art, um... EXs. 
We've got Ultra Rares, 2.37, so we should get two to three uh, full arts that come out. Uh, illustration Rares are three, so we should get three Illustration Rares, whether it be a Magikarp, a Baxcalibur, uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, then we've got 1.31 Special Illustration Rares, and this is where things changed a lot. These Special Illustration Rares and Hyper Rares right here, we should get two uh, total uh, of these upper echelon rarities uh, between Special Illustration Rares and Hyper Rares. We'll either get two Special Illustration Rares, or we'll get one Special Illustration Rare and a hyper rare. Nowadays, it's completely different, right? Now, when you open up a booster box of Stellar Crown, Twilight Masquerade, Temporal Forces, you may get neither. You may not. You may get no special illustration rare and no hyper rare. There's no guarantee anymore. Uh, so we're just gonna kind of crack into things and we're gonna see how it all unfolds. Uh, but that's what we should get. And we'll total everything up and just kind of see what we get. Pelde Evolved is still very much a goaded set, even though a lot of the card values have fallen quite a bit. Uh, there's not really any double rares that kind of stand out anymore as far as playability goes. You still have Chine Pao, which does okay. Uh, and we're going to rifle through things fairly quickly because I know your your time is important to you. But we'll pull out Reversal Energies. Those still have a little bit of value to them. Uh, jet Energies is still good. Ionos are still good. So we can pull those out. They're not as big as what they used to be. Uh, and Boss's Order is a hollow rare uh, in the set that has a little bit of value to it. That's not bad. So if you are opening stuff up... Uh, from Pal Day Evolve. These are kind of the cards that you want to pull out. Super Rod, Superior Energy Retrieval. Uh, those are, are still good. Those still have a little bit of value to them. So they're, they're good cards to remove as you're kind of sorting through. We're going to get our first hit here, which is a Paldean Claude Sire. So that's our first double rare of the approximately five that we are expecting to get. When it comes to the upper rarity stuff, uh, cards like the Special Illustration Rare Iono have fallen quite a bit. There's still a lot of value to it, uh, but it has fallen a lot compared to where it started out as. And really, that's just because of the uh, supply. The supply line of the Iono has just skyrocketed because you have so many different varieties, so many different rarities. We're going to get our first uh, bigger hit right here, our first special illustration, which is a uh, boss's orders. Oh, man, I miss hit rates like this. I'm telling you, I don't know if this is really a reprint. I think this is more of a restock, but we've got our first special illustration rare, which is boss's orders. A very cool looking card. Uh, I love the artwork with that Getsis right there. Very neat. Uh, but the Iono being reprinted as a special illustration rare in Paldean Fates. Then it had its own milk carton that came out with a full art variant in there as well. Uh, so Iono has fallen quite a bit, which we expected to happen. We knew that was going to happen after it got reprinted all of those times. So that's okay. Not a big deal. Um, but cards like Chaim Pao, which has fallen a little bit out of favor in the competitive field for now. Uh, but Chaim Pao was also reprinted again in a, a battle deck. So that one also took a hit as well. Uh, not really a ton of special illustration rares that hold a whole lot of value uh, to them. When it comes to the illustration rares, uh, we're going to talk more about illustration rares tomorrow and kind of uncover what the best set to open is in the Scarlet and Violet block. As far as illustration rares go, where you get the best bang for your buck. But uh, Pal Day Evolved, very, very good. There is a ton. This is the biggest set in the Scarlet and Violet block when it comes to illustration rares. Uh, very close with uh, Paradox Rift, which there's a ton in that one as well. Uh, but you have the Magikarp, obviously, which is still hovering just barely above $100. That one has fallen very far. Uh, at one point in time, it was bordering that $150 price point. So it has taken quite a huge hit. Uh, we haven't gotten one yet. There's a Backwards Energy. Uh, so really only two hits so far on this left-hand side. Hopefully that means uh, either the right-hand side is loaded or just the back half of this left-hand side is going to do much, much better as we're going to get back-to-back uh, -back bangers. Look at that, a Pikachu EX and a Tyranitar. Uh, Tyranitar, one of the bigger ones that you want to get from the booster box or from any Paldei Evolve pack, really. I think this is bordering right around $28 right now, so that's a good one right there. Uh, the Raichu is the second most expensive in the set, and then obviously the Magikarp, like I said, just barely above $100. Down from the $150 price point that it was at, you might see it fall uh, below $100 fairly soon. Here's another Jet Energy. That one's a Reverse Hollow, so that one's pretty good to pull. Uh, really, Paldei Evolved loaded. It's probably the best set in the Scarlet and Violet era as far as collector value goes and competitive value goes uh, really just a good set across the board as we get our first full art which happens to be a Noivern EX so now the hits 
are starting to come a little bit more fast and furious, which is good to see. Uh, and we'll total everything up and see how it compares to the pull rates. But like I said, I expect this to have similar pull rates. Pelde Evolve Booster Box is still hovering uh, right around $140. Unfortunately, the reprint is not quite big enough that I think it's going to swing the price down a whole lot. Uh, also, uh, if you are a store owner, um, unfortunately, again, Pelde Evolve Booster Box is not necessarily, I mean, they're just more expensive. They, they, they do not fall uh they do not fall to the wholesale pricing anymore they're being charged by uh distribution closer to that market price uh which makes margins even thinner so we're not looking at a situation like we experienced in the past with a lot of sword and shield products where there was a giant reprint that really just brought the house down uh, on prices like what we saw in 2021 when we had all those reprints kind of come at the same time uh, and there was so much product uh unfortunately even with more product coming like this Pelde Evolved uh, Booster Box, there's just the wholesale price is just not there. You're not getting uh, the same $90 wholesale price that you're accustomed to when it comes to new sets. Unfortunately, you're looking at 115 or so wholesale uh, from from distribution, 115, 120. It makes it very, very difficult uh, to kind of bring that price point down any further. So we're on our second side right now. Uh, we'll see if we can get anything else. There's a nice reversal energy right there. Uh, really, these trainer cards, not necessarily uh, super expensive. You're looking at maybe a dollar or so uh, for a lot of them, 50 cents to a dollar. But that little value adds up, especially when you're trading them in. Uh, looks like we're going to get our second. There it is. Two special illustration rares in one box. I'm, I'm telling you, these were the these were the days when the hit rates were just absolutely nuts. Uh, two special illustration rares. So we won't get a hyper rare in this box uh, because we did get two special illustration rares. But basically, I know that shouldn't necessarily confirm because I'm only opening one box. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Obviously, you would want a much bigger data uh, data pool as we've got a Chime Pow and a Quaxley. Opening one box is not necessarily going to uh, going to really give you enough information to say for 100% certainty uh, that pull rates are going to be the same. Uh, but I'm fairly certain. I'm fairly certain uh, that pull rates are the same. I'm fairly certain that this is not necessarily a reprint, that this is just additional stock. Maybe that was left over uh, at the Pokemon company. Maybe they just held back some stock when the set originally released. Or maybe this is leftover stock from big box retailers who recycled through this and are moving on uh, to just the bigger sets. Obviously, nowadays, you see Walmart selling booster boxes online, Target selling booster boxes online, Amazon, GameStop, Best Buy. And we didn't have that. Uh, years ago, a few years ago, we didn't have experiences like that where those big box retailers were selling uh, booster boxes from their online distribution centers. So uh, that changes things a lot and they're going to follow more of a cycling system uh, where they're going to get rid of old stock. Uh, so they might have just worked out a deal and shipped a lot of this stuff back to Pokemon and Pokemon is like, okay, let's send it off to distribution who can then uh, source it out to local game stores or LGSs. And I think that's kind of a situation that we're looking at right now. So we should get another illustration rare yet. Uh, probably another double rare as well. The last one that we got was the Chine Pow and the Quaxley was the last illustration rare. So maybe we can still get a Magikarp or a Raichu. There's a couple other illustration rares that are still pretty good in the set. Sprigatito has fallen a little bit, but still hovering around uh, $13 or so. We still have the Mousehold, which does okay. We still have uh, Fue Coco, which does pretty well. So there's still some other ones. Bax Calibur uh, isn't bad. There's a lot of really cool illustration rares in this set. Paldea Evolved, just a very, very good set. Um, as we've got nothing big in that one as well. Uh, we also should get, I think, another full art. So maybe another illustration rare and another full art. I believe we've only gotten the Noivern so far. Uh, so maybe we'll get a full art trainer or a full art supporter yet. Uh, as we've got a Mio Scarada. Uh, Mio Scarada was also reprinted in a battle deck as well. Uh, I believe that one came out with a Radiant Alakazam in it. So uh, Mio Scarada, not really a big competitive card or anything like that. But it looks like we're starting to pile up some more hits. We should have, like I said, between 12 and 13 hits in total. Um, as we are down to our final, we've got four packs left. So still looking for another illustration rare and another full art. So hopefully uh, we'll get a couple more hits yet in these last uh, final four packs as we've got uh, a full art Dendra. So there's our full art right there. Uh, hopefully these last three packs will yield an illustration rare and then we'll pretty much be spot on with what we expected as far as uh, pull rates go. We got our two special illustration rares. We did not get a hyper rare, but that's because we got two special illustration rares. So I would not expect a hyper rare in this. 
uh, Giacomo right there. Uh, final two packs right here. Hopefully we get that last illustration. Or otherwise, uh, my pull rate numbers are just off a little bit. I don't think we opened up many booster. There it is. Palde and Toros. Okay, here I was almost second guessing myself. I was like, okay, well, maybe we won't get in that, another illustration rare. Uh, but we did. We got the Palde and Toros, uh, which is a really cool looking card. Very neat right there. Last pack magic. I'm not really expecting anything out of this pack whatsoever. I don't know if there's going to be much magic in this pack. Uh, and it looks like we will strike out there. So I think we were a little bit under uh, with um uh ultra is 2.37 but everything else i think we should hit so 12.27 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so 12 hits basically what we expected uh double errors 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 4.86 we got our five right there ultra rares the full arts we got the dendra uh and we got the noivern right here so that's two so that's pretty much spot on illustration rares uh, we got three. We got the Tyranitar, the Quaxley, and the Paldean Toro. So that's spot on. And then two special illustration rares uh, and no hyper rare. So you add those two together. Uh, 1.31 and 0.73 gives you just over two, uh, which means maybe we had one box where we opened up one hyper rare along with two special illustration rares. But of the you know tons of boxes that we opened up, usually you're going to get two special illustration rares or one special illustration rare and one hyper rare. You can let me know in the comment section down below what you think. I Obviously, uh, you want to leave a like and a comment on this video already. Make sure you're subscribed so that way you can enter to win the Pikachu ukulele. I really appreciate you guys taking the time uh, to watch. Listen, let me let me know what you think. If you think I think this is just a restock, but I'm I'm always open to ideas, thoughts. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. I uh, love you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. We'll be back tomorrow talking about illustration rares uh, and the best set that you really want to focus on in Scarlet and Violet. So make sure to tune in for that one as well. Uh, thank you guys so much for everything. Talk to you again. Tomorrow. Until next time, peace.